What up, nerds? It's Jason here from Custom Cans, and uh, it's been a while. I have missed you guys. How's it been? It's, it's, it's good. It's good. It's good. I've been too busy making stuff and not making enough videos. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, I died. Uh, whoa, whoa. What's this we have here? Some balanced Pro X range. Oh, so we got the DT700 Pro X and the DT900 Pro X, both with a 4-pin Mini XLR and converted to balanced. Uh, as you can see, this one, we've uh, had a go at painting as well. So these, it turns out, all right, this is pretty straightforward to convert them to balanced and uh, we can also do custom paintwork on them. So that's pretty cool. Now then, uh, I did this, I did a whole, I did, made these, I made a whole video of making them and putting them back together and converting them to balanced. And then the card that it was recorded on totally corrupted. So I've lost all that. But yeah, let's just have a quick look at um, how I did it on these. Because it's, it's very straightforward. It's one of the easier pairs to convert to balance. It's a little bit fiddly with the soldering, but it's, it's not too bad. So let's just have a, have a quick look. So as you can see, all you need to do really is kind of remove the pad, remove the retaining ring, remove the driver. And then inside, you need to unsolder the wires from the 4-pin Mini XLR remove the retaining nut that's in there and then you can unsolder the other wires and remove that socket and then it's basically just to reverse that so a four pin mini socket uh, a reen four pin mini will fit we've used we've just had some some made in china which are black to match so that it goes straight in so it looks a little bit more legit with the with the with the black rather than the silver but if you're just doing this as a diy thing a reen jack will do we will be selling them already balanced uh, if you don't want to do it yourself and then putting it all back together that was the that was the tricky bit because there's not in if you use the original headband wire that's in there there's not quite enough length so that you can get it outside the socket and solder it neatly it's not quite enough room so you can pull it through and solder the socket and then put the socket in you have to put the socket in first and then solder the wires on from the inside so it's a little bit difficult to get to some of the pins it's not impossible but it's just a it's just a bit awkward um, but replacing the headband on these is going to be a bit tricky, so I probably wouldn't bother bother doing that. I'll just put up with the slightly awkward placement of the, the solder joints in there. Ah, sorry, just to interrupt you there, just to remind you that we've still got our charity raffle going, where you get a chance to win a pair of super exclusive Hi-Fi Man Sundara clothes backs, which have been pimped out by Suarez Modern Art. The artwork on them alone is probably worth more than the headphones, so it's well worth entering. They're a beautiful thing, sound beautiful, look beautiful, and uh, yeah, all going to a good charity that's uh, well worth supporting. But anyway, yeah, there's links in the description and uh, let's get on with the thing. So uh, in case you're wondering, pin one, left plus, pin two, left minus, pin three, right plus, pin four, right minus. <laughs> uh, that's how you wire it up and then you can uh, run these off a balanced amplifier. So here we've got a four pin XLR, but a 4.4, 2.5, anything like that would be pretty straightforward. Um, yes, yeah, so it's pretty easy, you know, and, and not difficult. But as I said, we'll all be selling them pre-done and if you fancy them in a custom colour or with your logos on, that kind of stuff, if you're using them for YouTube and stuff, you want to do a bit of branding, contact us, you know, we can we can pimp those bad boys. Pretty straightforward to convert these to balance, there's no, no real danger involved. Uh, you reuse the original cables that are in there, so uh, no chance of damaging the driver because they unclip. It's probably one of the safer easier jobs to do out of the biodynamic range so yeah i think it's safer than all the others because because you remove the driver and there's no chance of you messing the driver up i think it's pretty safe for just about anyone to do as long as you've got some vaguely good soldering skills you know if you bridge any of the connectors always use a multimeter afterwards to check for bridges because if you bridge the connector you could damage your amplifier something like that but the actual headphones themselves will be fine 